C is number one. So the reason I'm saying C is number one is because I was looking at this article and it says C surpasses Java as the number one programming language. So of course I had to be confused because when you think of C, you think of like a language no one uses and people only use it like on the really low level, like people use C++ over C. And so I'm really surprised with this. And then I look more into it and did, did more research. I did my, did my research and it's based on this Tiobe index or Tiobe index. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. All right, the reason why I think this Tiobe, bi uh, Tiobe index is biased is because looking at the Stack Overflow um, survey from 2019, which I think is a holy scripture at this point, is that C is like the 10th language, 11th language down on this list for all respondents, and then about the same for um, professional developers. 17% for that, and then 20% for all respondents. So how could C be the most popular language by this Tiobe index? So let's look into C. All right, so here I am on the Tiobe index main page, and the, the interesting part about Tiobe index and how it is, uh, I guess, formulated, how they get these numbers, is that it's based on, I guess, search results from Google. So the more people that search C, the more people are gonna, or the more people that search C, the the higher popularity C is gonna become on Google. So that, of course, can be biased because, well, I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be Google. It can be other engines like Google, YouTube, Amazon, stuff like that. So that's, of course, biased because that could also mean that people who are looking up these languages are just really don't know what they're doing. So they're just looking up everything about the language. So that doesn't mean it's more popular, of course, but I, I guess it has um, a tendency to become more popular. Uh, another interesting thing I found is that if we look at the chart for Tiobe Program Index, of course Java was, has been really popular for a while, but it's actually slightly going down in popularity and C kind of has as well. And then it really dropped here in 2017. It kind of makes you think, what made this happen? And then it suddenly it spiked back up and it became the most popular language in like 2019. And then it's suddenly crossed now to be more popular than Java. So it's like the world is ending or something and it's because the world is ending. I also want to like take a look at the long-term history. And Java, of course, has been number one for a long while. And then C, of course, number two. And then Python is number three in C++ and whatnot. JavaScript is cool and all, but it's not number one here. Even though it was number one on the, um, well, current number one on Stack Overflow. <laughs> they even give out these Hall of Famer awards. And look at this, C has been, so this is given people, or not people, <laughs> languages aren't people, but it's given the languages that are the highest rise. So people that you think are spike the hippest newest language is not C, it's not the newest, though it might be the hippest, but it's C has been on this list more times than many other languages. Java's been here like twice, C has been here three times. So it's really interesting. Now, one might argue that this TOB index is, is biased right now, since the currently COVID-19 is on the rise. So you might be thinking, oh, everyone's learning C and typing in C because they're going crazy. <laughs> but I don't think that's the, the, um, the reason why. So like I said, Tioba index is based on how many people search the language. So more, more people are searching C and this hasn't been, like this is, C has been going up very recently. So you might be thinking, oh, C is going up is because everyone is going, is sick and people need to stay at home, or people who are staying at home are learning C, or something like that. But I don't think that's the case. Another um, reason people are thinking that C is rising is that many medical devices, and this is probably the most logical answer, many medical devices right now are using C because um, it's C is close to the hardware. And compared to other languages, C is better for doing that kind of stuff. So. Of course, you need medical devices during like a pandemic, during COVID-19. So that's, that's actually a pretty logical reason why, except 
C has been on the rise since before COVID-19. So that, I don't think that's the complete answer, but it could be a reason why it's C has been on the rise, especially number one, May of May of this year. So one of the reasons that C is still popular after how many different, how many years um, C has been around since C has been, or C first appeared in 1972. So that's many, many years ago, over 30, almost 50 years at this point in 2020. So C is still popular around, uh, along, among different circles because it has flexible, flexible memory management and it's close to the operating system, right? So those things are very important to have when building operating systems. And you can't really do those things with JavaScript or like Python or it, it'll be very hard to because those languages are built upon C. Like you need C to, to build those languages, or at least right now. So these higher level, level languages like JavaScript, Python, Java, they're built by using these C routines. So C is also very good with binary data. If you see what I see, you can smash that like button for me for the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> so while C is useful when you're working on system level uh, programming and systems, it's not very useful when you're working on applications. That's better for Java or C++, in which C++ came from C as the name. So C is also very easy to learn compared to C++, because C++ adds in a bunch of stuff, of course. So C, it can be a useful language to learn as a base to build upon, to understand other languages. So you want to start from C maybe, if you want to start learning other languages, except that C is really old at this point. If you're working in an area that is close to the hardware, go, go, for, go for it, because there's not that many alternatives to using C. Uh, at least right now there isn't. Um, however, if you're not <laughs> so close to the hardware, I just, I can't see the reason why you wouldn't want to use C. It's not built for that purpose. And it's not meant to be used outside of being close to hardware. So C is of course starting to show uh, signs of its age, of course. If a language was built almost 50 years ago in 1972, of course there's going to be many signs that it is aging and not aging well. So there's security issues. When a language is around for that long, people are gonna find flaws in it and security flaws especially. And these security flaws are kind of very difficult to fix since people who built C are most likely um, not alive or very old. So they're not gonna be developing anymore. So they're, they're gonna need new people to like fix those flaws in C or something like that. And people don't really update C that often. So there are languages that are closer to the hardware and they're much safer than C. So they're, they don't have as many security issues as C. So one of these languages that could replace C one day would of course be Rust, but um, I don't see that happening in the near time future. So since C has been rising in popularity because of maybe a couple different reasons, you might be thinking what other languages could rise in popularity in the future if something else happens? Like um, you might think, oh, what if there's a mobile app craze that's gonna go on and then everyone just wants to build Android apps or something like that. Or everyone wants to go to the new Angry Birds 13 and they need developers for it. So <laughs> then maybe Java will be on the rise or something like that. Or maybe Python will be on the rise because everyone starts to need machine learning and Python or R will be needed for that. And then you might also say like, oh, everyone's gonna need websites suddenly. There's a website, uh, I don't know, craze or something. And everyone needs to learn JavaScript and HTML <laughs> because people don't use mobile apps anymore or something like that. But yeah, so it's, it's really interesting the whole ecosystem of coding languages becoming popular and not becoming popular. And um, yeah, it's the end of this video, but hope you liked it. If you did, can you give me a like and subscribe and whatnot? I'll talk to you later though, peace.